Hi, my name is Mike, and today I'm reviewing the bag from SW Motec for my Suzuki DL650 V Strom. As you can see, this is my Strom, and as you can see in the background, I've got a few other bikes, so uh, you can probably tell I enjoy riding motorcycles. The uh, bag looks pretty pretty good on the bike. Um, and as you'll see later on, there's one inherent problem with the bag. And that is that it's designed to be removed using a little pull string right here. And as you can see, I don't have it hooked on the bike for a good reason. And as you can see, it goes over the gas tank. Well, the problem is that if this sticks, you don't get gas. And that's a real problem. Let's take a look at the back. So as you can see, it's got a rain cover on it, which is really nice. I've gone through a number of different rainstorms with it. Um, held up pretty good. One problem you might have with this is notice at the top of the bag uh, had some printed directions on it. And as you can see, you start getting some of the laser jet carbon that bleeds into the plastic. So they could probably do a better job of that. Um, if you want to take the top off, it's hooked on with these uh, little connectors. As you can see, it's a well-made bag. Looks pretty good. But there's some inherent problems with it, which I'll share with you here in a second. Uh, zips right off. Uh, it's actually a pretty bag. Looks really good on the bike. Uh, it's got a fair amount of room, nothing uh, oversized, but it fits really well on the bike. So, uh, you know, it works It works pretty well. This is a little key here that you can uh, put in to lock it on the bike when you're, uh, when you're leaving the bike alone. Uh, I also have a lock for it, uh, which basically when you zip it shut, you can lock these two together and uh, run that around your handlebar. Nobody can steal it. But there is one inherent problem with the whole thing, and that's with the attachment. And this is why you don't see this button, this hooked up to my bike right now. As you can see, the attachment goes on a ring, which fits over your gas tank. Well, the problem is that this is very... Notice that it's sticking? Well, it sticks sometimes on the gas tank. And the problem you've got is that when it sticks on the gas tank, you don't get gas. I was stranded at one gas station for about two and a half, three hours trying to get this thing off. Lucky that I didn't break the, the cord because then I really would have been in a problem. Um, don't know what you'd do if you did get it stuck because basically this is hooked onto the bag and as you can see it's screwed on, but it's got the screws here, four screws, which are pretty hard to put on. But if this is stuck on the tank, you ain't getting it off. So, don't know what you do. Um, now, I tried to return this bag to Twisted Throttle. Twisted Throttle is the distributor for these bags in the entire United States. So, it comes through their door no matter what. Um, their policy was that what they have done is that they said that the mounting bracket here was faulty. And so they've designed a new mounting bracket that has a wire, I think it's a metal wire, not really taking into account that it still might stick, but at least you're not going to break the rope. So their return policy was not to exchange the defective part for a better part, their policy was to have me buy the new part at full retail price. I'm not quite sure that I agree with a sales policy or a return policy that's designed to increase sales. Um, not really my idea of the way to get repeat customers, but I guess that's how Twisted Throttle does their business. So I'm not going to do business with Twisted Throttle anymore. And I'd encourage everyone that sees this video to do the same. There's too many other bags on the market, too many other motorcycle uh, distributors around, and there's a lot of good bags on the market that you can get 
from places that uh, have a little better return policy than Twisted Throttle does. So hope this helps you guys. I'm going to have to unfortunately throw this, uh, throw this bag away. It's about a $300 bag when everything's said and done with all the mounting pieces and everything. Uh, but it's a lesson learned. So hopefully my loss is your gain. Uh, bottom line, I've been stuck with this bag at gas stations once for three hours. So there's really only one good place for this bag, and it's not on your bike. The best place for this bag is the trash can.